To square up your hourglass blocks for the pink lemonade quilt, what you're going to need is a rotary cutter, a 12 and a half inch square ruler, and a cutting mat. You'll also need one of your already pieced hourglass blocks from the pink lemonade quilt. Any hourglass block will work, but I'm showing you the one for the pink lemonade quilt packet pattern. And so the first step that you're going to do is you always want to find the 45 degree angle on your ruler. So this is going to be this line on my ruler here. And what you want to do is place that line directly on the um, center axis line of your hourglass block. So it looks like this. And then the first step that I always like to do is take a look at the perimeter of my fabric to make sure that I have enough fabric exceeding the actual final size of my block. In this case, we're looking for an eight and a half inch square. So what I'm going to do is start by shimmying my ruler down a little bit, staying along that center axis. And I just want to make sure that I have some fabric that's coming around at, that's bypassing the edge of my ruler. And then the second thing I do is look over here to make sure that I have fabric that's exceeding past my eight and a half inch mark. I also double check down here to make sure I have some fabric bypassing the eight and a half inch mark, which means that I have fabric that can be trimmed from all four sides. With my ruler in place and always making sure that my line is on the 45 degree line of my ruler, I then start by taking one cut and then without moving my ruler, I'm going to take a second cut. There we are. And then what we want to do is I'm just going to spin my block. We still have two more cuts to do. And so what I'm going to do is come back along that 45 degree line, centering it on the central axis of my, my block. And then I like to shimmy it down so that I have that flush in the on the 45 degree line. And then I have eight and a half inch flush on the side here. And then I'm making sure I have eight and a half inch flush down on the bottom, which means that anything bypassing the ruler on the top and the side means it needs to be trimmed. And there, that's all there is to trimming out your hourglass blocks for the pink lemonade quilt.